Have you ever wondered what goes on in the mind of a dictator? What sort of traits and behaviors are common among these individuals? It's an intriguing question, and one that reveals a complex web of psychological patterns. But before we dive in, it's crucial to remember that mental health diagnoses should be left to qualified professionals. It's not appropriate or ethical to diagnose specific individuals without proper evaluation. That said, we can still explore certain behavioral patterns and traits that have been observed in some individuals who have held dictatorial positions. These traits can provide valuable insights into the challenges of leadership and the potential mental health implications associated with such a role. From narcissism and authoritarianism to paranoia, delusions of grandeur and beyond, the psychological landscape of a dictator is a fascinating terrain. Now let's delve into some of these characteristic traits and behaviors. It might be surprising to learn that many dictators share several common traits. One of the most common traits is narcissism. Dictators often have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and a constant need for admiration. They may also lack empathy, showing little concern for the suffering of others, especially those who challenge their regime. Authoritarianism is another common trait. Dictators seek to have absolute control and demand unquestioning obedience from others. They may also display a sense of paranoia, mistrusting others and even purging perceived threats within their ranks. In addition to these, dictators often have delusions of grandeur. They may hold grandiose and unrealistic beliefs about their own abilities and the importance of their role in history. This can lead to a distorted sense of self and a disregard for reality. Dictators are also known for their skilled use of manipulation and propaganda. They use these tactics to control the narrative and maintain their power. Furthermore, they may isolate themselves from diverse opinions, surrounding themselves with loyalists and suppressing dissent. And unfortunately, some dictators are associated with acts of cruelty and sadism displaying a willingness to use violence against perceived enemies. These acts can further isolate them and contribute to a climate of fear. These traits and behaviors can have a profound impact on a dictator's leadership style and their interactions with others. Understanding these traits can provide insight into the mind of a dictator and the challenges they present. Navigating the complex mind of a dictator is no simple task. We've delved into the often seen traits of dictators, from narcissism and authoritarianism to paranoia and delusions of grandeur. We've touched on their manipulation tactics, lack of empathy, cruelty, and tendency to isolate themselves. These behaviors can pose significant challenges to leadership and may hint at underlying mental health issues. Remember, understanding these traits does not justify the actions of dictators but rather, it provides insight into their behaviors and potential mental health challenges. Until next time stay curious about the fascinating world of psychology.